Welcome to the first installment of Pet Videos, Pulmonary and Critical Care Evidence-Based Medicine Topics. Today, we will be covering evidence-based inhaler therapies for COPD. We will review the guidelines, examine the critical trials in COPD inhaler therapies, and ultimately bring it all together with an example of therapy escalation. Our current management strategy for COPD is based on the Global Initiative for Chronic Obstructive Lung Disease, or GOLD, guidelines, which were last updated in 2017. In contrast to previous classification schemes based on spirometry, the current guidelines grade patients based on patient-centered measures. Exacerbation history, meaning two or more exacerbations per year or one hospitalization, versus one or fewer exacerbations per year, and symptom burden, using the MMRC scale. For the MMRC scale, if a patient walks slower than the people of the same age group because of shortness of breath, or has to stop for breath when walking at their own pace, they will have an MMRC of 2 or greater. Ultimately, the 4x4 square yields four main groups, A, B, C, and D. Recommendations for inhaler strategies are made based on group stratification. In group A, as-needed short-acting beta agonists, or SABAs, or short-acting muscarinic antagonists, or SAMAs, are recommended. In the more symptomatic group B, long-acting agents, like long-acting beta agonists or LABAs, or long-acting muscarinic antagonists or LAMAs are recommended. In Group C, the recommended initial treatment is LAMA monotherapy, with escalation to LAMA-LABA preferred, with ICS-LABA as a secondary option. Finally, in symptomatic patients with high exacerbation rates, the recommended initial treatment is with combination LAMA-LABA, with escalation to triple therapy, which includes an inhaled corticosteroid, or ICS. All this might leave you wondering, how did we get here? What's the evidence? There are three major trials that shape the current recommendations for inhaler therapy, the TORCH trial, the UPLIFT trial, and the FLAME trial. Throughout the video, the trials will be designated by these symbols. Let's take a closer look. First up is TORCH, a landmark paper from the New England Journal of Medicine published in 2007. This trial was a multi-center randomized controlled trial enrolling 6,000 patients over a three-year period, assessing a primary outcome of mortality. The authors compared LABA monotherapy to ICS monotherapy to combination ICS LABA therapy to placebo in patients with a diagnosis of COPD. In the primary outcome, the authors noted no mortality difference. However, there were fewer COPD exacerbations in combination therapy and reduced severe exacerbations requiring hospitalization in the ICS LABA and the LABA monotherapy groups. Despite these promising results, the authors also noted increased risk of pneumonia in patients receiving ICS therapy. One criticism was the differential dropout between groups, which may have skewed the results. Regardless, based on this trial, LABA monotherapy and ICS LABA combination therapy took a prominent role in COPD treatment. Next came Uplift. Published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2008, this was also a multi-center randomized controlled trial enrolling 6,000 patients over a four-year period, this time assessing a primary outcome of spirometry. The authors compared teotropium, a long-acting muscarinic antagonist, versus placebo as an addition to usual therapy. Notably, approximately 60% of patients within the study were already prescribed either LABAs or ICS therapy as baseline medications. This study did not show an improvement in rate of FEV1 decline, the primary endpoint, but it did show that addition of LAMA therapy was associated with a reduced risk of COPD exacerbations and a trend towards decreased four-year mortality, although not statistically significant. Based in part on uplift, LAMA was adopted as baseline therapy for groups B and C in the gold recommendations. More recently, the FLAME trial was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2016. This study was a multi-center randomized controlled non-inferiority trial with a primary outcome of number of COPD exacerbations. Following an initial unconventional washout period with one month of LAMA monotherapy, the authors randomized participants to either LAMA-LABA combination therapy or ICS-LABA combination therapy. While they found no mortality difference, they noted that LAMA-LABA therapy had a decreased rate of COPD exacerbations and increased time to first exacerbation compared to the ICS-LABA group. Similar to the TORCH trial, the authors noted increased rates of pneumonia in the ICS-LABA group. However, one criticism of this trial is that many of the events were noted to be mild, 
so the true clinical relevance is unclear. Additionally, the dropout during the run-in period on llama monotherapy may have skewed the study population toward a better response to llama therapy. Let's review what we've learned so far. The three trials that have shaped treatment guidelines for COPD inhaler therapy were TORCH, UPLIFT, and FLAME. When looking across the trials, there was no mortality difference noted with the various inhaler therapies, although a trend towards lower mortality in the UPLIFT trial with the addition of a llama therapy. However, when the studies assessed the risk of COPD exacerbations, the TORCH trial demonstrated benefit of ics lava. The UPLIFT trial suggested benefit from addition of a LAMA, and the FLAME trial showed benefit of lama lava combination therapy over ics lava combination therapy. Don't forget the various caveats that we discussed for each study. To bring it all together, we can apply this to our approach to taking care of patients. So, for a minimally symptomatic patient with few exacerbations, a good starting inhaler would be an as-needed short-acting agent, such as a Saba. After this, the uplift trial suggests that addition of a llama might be helpful to reduce exacerbations. Then, while the TORCH trial suggested the next inhaler to use would be ics lava, the more recent FLAME trial actually suggests that llama lava may be more beneficial. Subsequent studies may call this into question, or help differentiate which phenotype of patient might benefit from ics lava versus llama lava therapy. Finally, in patients that are still quite symptomatic or have many exacerbations, Triple therapy with LAMA, LABA, and ICS is warranted. Now, returning to our table, we can see how we've made the steps along the gold groups. This concludes your evidence-based approach to COPD inhaler therapies. Thanks for listening.